Hi equestrian friends, it's me Lisa the Budget Equestrian and welcome back to another video. Well, it's officially shedding season where I live and today I thought it would be fun to share with you some different tools that'll make shedding out your horse a lot easier this year. There's a lot of tools that you can buy and I wanted to kind of put some of them through their paces and show you what they're all about. So the first one I have is a shed flower and you can find this for about $5. Basically, it's a plastic curry comb and it has little teeth on the end and it looks like a flower. The little teeth help to get out the dirt and the loose hair on your horse. And my horses right now and during this video are incredibly muddy and hairy. So there's going to be a lot of dirt flying when I'm grooming my horses and showing you guys how these tools work. But with the shed flower, you pretty much just run it in a circular pattern all over your horse and it helps to get out the dirt and dander and dust and hair. The next tool I have is a homemade tool that I made a couple of years ago that works really well. I basically took a two by two piece of wood and put a saw blade in it. It's just a really tiny little blade. It's not sharp, I promise. And I just kind of sunk that down into the wood and then painted it and sealed it. And now I have a really nice grooming tool for my horses. This is really similar to a sleek easy or a groom, I don't know, groom ninja, I think it's called. But what you do is you just run it along your horse's coat going with the way the hair lays. And it really helps to get rid of the excess hair in your horse's coat. If your horse is thin skin, you may not want to use something like this, but for Frisbee, it works really well. As you can see, it really gets the hair out and you don't have to use a lot of pressure. You just kind of run it along your horse's body. Again, just following the natural growth pattern of the hair. The next tool I have is a rubber massage curry. It's a round curry and it has these little nubs on it and it really works great to get the hair loosened up and ruffled up so that you can use the other tools when you're trying to shed out your horse. Now with Ethan, he actually will tolerate this. He is very thin skinned and very sensitive, but you can see how it really helps to get rid of the dirt and the mud that gets caked in. Frisbee, on the other hand, he can pretty much tolerate everything. He's really thick skin, but this tool is really helpful for when your horse has been out in the mud and it's really caked on, and it also helps to remove some of the hair in his coat. And the next tool I wanted to share with you is the Strip Hair Gentle Groomer. And this is the latest addition or latest tool that I've gotten to help with shedding season. And this thing is so awesome. It's made of a flexible rubber and it has all these different diamond patterns on it. And the edges work really well for removing the hair and the shorter edges work really well actually on your horse's legs. Now you can use it in a circular pattern. You can use it back and forth. And my favorite thing is to use it to get rid of the mud. And this is a tool that Ethan actually likes. And as you can see, he is really dirty and muddy and he's shedding. So this tool is fantastic for getting the hair and the dirt off of your horse, even if he's thin skinned and really sensitive. And probably one of my favorite things to use the strip hair is on my horse's legs. It's very gentle and both of my horses can tolerate this. They don't move around. And as you can see, look at all of the little hairs that it's getting off of Frisbee. And one thing I've never seen them advertise this for, but it works really good. If your horse's hooves are muddy, this tool can really help get the mud off. And I can use this all the way down around the base of his hoof and he doesn't even flinch. Ethan is the same way. So this is a fantastic tool for shedding season and all year.
The next tool I wanted to share with you are the hands-on grooming gloves. And these gloves are gloves. You simply put them on and then you just basically pet your horse. There's all kinds of little nubs on the gloves themselves and this is what gives your horse a massage. Now, if your horse is thin-skinned or sensitive, these might be a little too much for him. See, Ethan isn't too sure of these, not one of his favorite things, but it does help to get rid of the dirt and the hair. And again, my model Frisbee doesn't even flinch. He just loves to get brushed and groomed. And the hands-on grooming gloves also work really great on your horse's legs. Just don't put a lot of pressure. You basically are petting your horse when you're wearing the grooming gloves and you can use them wet or dry. See, I'm just petting Frisbee and it's helping to get rid of the loose hair and some of the dirt that might have accumulated since he was out rolling as well. So these are the five tools that I use on my horses and I think work great. The hands-on grooming gloves are $24. This little rubber curry is about $5. I made this homemade shedding block for about $4. The strip hair gentle groomer is the most expensive at $39.95, but it's well worth it in my opinion. And the shed flower, you can find these for about $5 online. And all of these tools together cost me about $77. And I have a fantastic shedding kit to help my horses get rid of that winter hair. Thanks so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and watch all my other horse related videos. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.